professional professional artist I am back yes so I have a video for you guys I will explain a little bit later on what happened before the long period of breaks but for now I want to talk about this one so yeah this took um quite a long time to do this so and also a lot of really long painstaking clips so this will be a two-parter so yay this is the first one and second gonna come out, you will love the second one, of course. So this one's just the um black and white stays like I usually do in my videos. Usually I do like with styles and anything. And usually I do the value check. Right now what I'm doing, I am doing the um background of my pic my pictures right now. So I'm trying to do like more of a hospital um uh theme with this one. So of course I'm sitting here um, usually doing sketch and blending colors out and yeah you guys know it's value check. Well, since it's like two minutes into the video, so this process might take a little while, the background, so yeah. So, why not talk about what happened? Um, the reason why I was out for a very long time is because, um, uh, you say like sometimes like artists have artists flock, you know, when they don't have much ideas. That's not the case for me. It's somewhere similar to that, but it's not. I usually have like tons of ideas, but thing is with me, um, usually ideas jump from one place to another and I don't get stuff done. So it might took a while to uh, just complete this like a simple like, artwork, like how is it possible, it's like just a an artwork and stuff. Um, I never stopped drawing, it's just that I just, I just keep jumping from one place to another and Sometimes I had to like get back focused on what art I'm doing at the time and trying to complete that one. So yeah, that's why I took such a long time to upload like any like new art projects. I did not quit YouTube or anything like that. It's just, you know, it happened periodically. It's a, it's a cycle which I kind to break, but nothing to worry about. If I take a long period of time, it's is that reason why. So back to the video. Right now I'm going to start on the x-ray part of uh, the background. So right now I'm doing a sketch out of the character. Well the character's on like x-ray basically. I just darken the room a little bit so make it more darker and dimmer. Also, I I sort of kind of have fun at the X-ray part of it. Um, it really wasn't it really wasn't that hard for me trying to imagine the anatomy of the character. Uh, I already had sketched the character out, so basically get a sense of the anatomy and the bone structure as well. Um. I was kind of struggle a little bit on the fingertips a little bit because it's kind of like a small space. Of course, you have to have the ghostly, um, transparent 
um, to the picture. Um, so it's kind of like kind of going over with dark colors and kind of just layering on bit at at a time. And those holes on the on the door. I wear those holes on the door. I had like it took me about a good 15 minutes to like put like detail and everything into those holes. Yeah, it was really the, not the most funnest part of the background. The reflection is the funnest part, doing the reflection on the ground, but later on I I opted out not doing that. Kind of sad though, but hey, that's what I get from doing this top of my head. I don't really plan things out accordingly. So I am doing extra work for nothing, so eh, it's what it is, it's what it is. My word, if I deal with the background, holy crap. Now it gets the fun part. I love doing characters. And basically, it's of doing characters, especially this one, because I was doing a lot of shouting and animation. Of course, you will see in the process of me uh, go from light to dark on uh, certain regions, so I was pretty stoked about this one, so yeah. And also keep in mind that I am working with a translucent flare, so everything kind of goes through um, the way I'm working with on the character. So that's the reason why I always have a white background so I'm able to see the character fully. And sometimes I just turn off the opacity of the layer um, under the one I'm working with, working with right now, so I'm able to see and make sure I follow. Um, where the light is coming from so that way um, everything kind of lines up just all together also just implementing in this is probably the fifth or sixth time saying it but I just love doing the value it's just very easy to do I have to put black and white, you don't have to worry about anything, no colors getting messed up or anything like that. <laughs> it's just the most perfect tool to use. It's like you want to go lighter in some areas, you can go lighter, you want to go darker in some areas, you can go dark. You just use black and white. It's just the perfect, perfect combination. You don't have to worry about anything. Like, look at that, look at that, look at that. You don't have to take. It don't take much. Also, yeah, again, I did turn off the pathway on the layer under um, the one I work with, so I'm able to keep in mind where the light source is at. I can't even talk about this, or it shouldn't be a good time to talk. Well, I'm gonna talk about it because I'm an art nerd. And I love all about art, especially coming to physical and not really, I guess a phys, physical, 
through the things like light, things like that. But um, if you guys are not, you know, into that, don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just enjoy the the music. But anyways, um, but just one thing I just love about is detail and. I just love artists that have put so much work in details, into writing, and details in some aspects in um, where you see things visually. Some people can master like in color wise or the material wise or anything else in the sort of nature and then with art and to see it in the eyes visually, even through movement and things like that. And I just love the fact that um, you know, just looning light, it's just it's quite unpredictable, but it can be predictable at the same time. And you just have to study on certain things and certain aspects of it, so where light comes from, where light is to be emphasizing with. And that's why I always like to use values, <laughs> value check, because you can easily do that um, by using just white and black and just create the whole. That's why I always love detail because you can see the more nuances of things you have it like like you could have a nose until you really like pay attention to it. So that's why I always love detail and I always love to put details in my work because you find nuances or subtle things you know, you find in real life. So that's why I always love dealing with with anything that comes to details. Especially lighting. I just love lighting. I think this is my favorite part when it comes to lighting as well. And also, this is the reason why that this uh, part of the, uh, I guess, black and white stage of this artwork takes so long because of the simple fact that I'm just playing the lighting out of it and the texture and everything else. So, I rather just plan ahead and using those things, of course, instead of going and really nilly nilly with colors, which that is fine with certain things. Which I do do. Oh, my way do do. Wow. Which I do um, a little bit of planning while I do um, my pictures. A little bit off the wall, but same with planning. Well, this will wrap up the first part of my project. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I don't know. I figured that out in the title. So that'll be it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, um, and hit the notification bell so the next video comes out. So it probably don't take like a two years or a month to get done. <laughs> Also, make sure you check out my daily night pages, saga comics, and I'll see you guys later. Royal Phoenix out.